From Shock to Action, The Diagnosis. The moment I heard the words bladder cancer from their doctor, time seemed to stand still. There was a ringing in my ears, and my mind raced to process what was being said, but all I could focus on was the word cancer. A mix of shock, disbelief, and a sinking feeling in my chest overwhelmed me. My wife and I exchanged a glance, trying to find some reassurance in each other's eyes, but the reality of the situation hit us both hard. Cancer. It's a word I had heard so many times before, on the news, in the lives of others, but never my own. I had seen the devastation it caused in families and friends, but it always felt distant, like something that couldn't touch me. Yet, here it was, up close and personal, turning my life upside down in an instant. The first wave of shock was a mixture of confusion and denial. How could this happen to me? I had always done regular checkups, and though I had been feeling discomfort, it had never seemed to be anything serious. The words of my young neurologist echoed in my mind. Your bladder is healthy for your age. That reassurance now felt like a distant, hollow comfort. In that moment, it felt as though everything had failed me. My body, my doctor, and the routine of health checks that had given me a false sense of security. I had trusted the process, but it had let me down. However, the shock quickly gave way to a new emotion. Action. After the initial numbness passed, I knew I had to focus on what came next. I couldn't afford to be paralyzed by fear. My mind turned to survival. I was determined to take control of the situation, however terrifying it was. My wife was right there with me, her calmness balancing the storm of emotions that brewed inside me. Together, we shifted into a mode of, what's the next step? The first action I took was to reassess everything I had done so far in my treatment journey. My initial thought was to reach out to the young doctor who had been overseeing my care. But something inside me told me I needed to change. The diagnosis had opened my eyes to the possibility that I needed a second opinion, someone with more experience who could offer me a fresh perspective. I called a friend who had connections at a local university hospital, and within days, I was on my way to meeting a new surgeon. Even in those early days, I realized how important it was to stay proactive. Time felt like it was slipping away, but I was determined to do everything within my power to fight this battle. The urgency of the situation forced me to make quick decisions, but they were also informed decisions. I learned the value of advocating for myself and trusting my instincts. I knew I had to build a team around me that I could fully trust, and that meant being unafraid to make changes when something didn't feel right. One of the hardest parts of the diagnosis was the emotional toll it took on my wife and family. I could see the worry etched on their faces, but they did their best to stay strong for me. Inside, though, I knew they were grappling with the same fears I was. This wasn't just happening to me, it was happening to all of us. Cancer touches not only the patient, but everyone around them. The shock ripples through families, disrupting the normalcy of everyday life and casting a shadow over the future. Yet, despite the fear, there was also hope. The action I took after the diagnosis, the new doctors, the second opinions, the new direction of care, began to give me a sense of control again. The shock of cancer can feel overwhelming, but once I started taking steps forward, I realized that I wasn't powerless. There were still choices to make, decisions to weigh, and a path forward to pursue. What I learned from the diagnosis is that cancer forces you into action. There's no time to sit in shock for too long. The diagnosis is just the beginning of the battle, but it's also a moment of reckoning. It's the point where you either let fear take over or you rise to meet the challenge. For me, I chose to fight. From shock to action, I began my journey toward reclaiming my life from cancer. And with each step forward, I found strength 
I didn't know I had, and a sense of determination that carried me through the hardest of days. The background music is from Serene Music, Superb Nature. You can find it at my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.